Today we took a tour of the dredge named Liberty Island. It's one of Great Lakes uh, dredge and docks, largest dredges. The process, the ship, uh, to get the sand into the ship, it, it obviously is out in the borrow area. It drops large uh, drag arms, which are like big sweepers on either side of the dredge. Uh, those arms go down to the bottom, and when they make contact with the seafloor, they start jetting water to fluidize the sand, and then suck it into the intakes, much like a vacuum cleaner uh, does in your home. Pulls all the sand and material up through pipes using big pumps and fills the center of the ship, which is called the hold, uh, with all the sand. So the water and slurry, actually is a slurry when they bring it up. It's about 60% water, 40% sand approximately. And that all goes into the main hold of the ship. And then as the sand uh, starts to drop out of uh, the water column and starts to fill the hole, the water without the sand just spills over into what are called scuppers and out into the ocean again. So that the only thing left at the end is sand in the hole. The ship will then head inshore to the pump out location. There's a buoy there it picks up, brings it up and hooks, hooks into the pump out. The pumps then start fluidizing the sand that's in the hold again to turn it into a slurry. And then a very large pump pumps it out through that connection on the seafloor through pipes out onto the beach where it comes out as a slurry again about 60 percent water 40 percent sand and as the water hits the beach the water runs back in the ocean the sand settles out on shore and then the big yellow bulldozers push it into the shape of the beach that's designed